Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. It's been a while since I've done that intro, but got to start remembering to do that. Anyways, we're back again, showcasing some cool stuff when it comes to Terraria. Now, of course, going into your Terraria, you have to make sure that you're in T Mod Loader in order to enjoy this video to the fullest, because I'm going to be showcasing the mods that I use the most when it comes to Terraria. Now, of course, these are my mods. You don't have to copy the same ones that I do, but of course, if you want to kind of get an idea of mods that are fairly popular well these are the ones that you probably want to consider now one thing to remember when it comes to terraria especially with tmod is you don't want to jam pack your tmod loader with a ton of mods because what you're going to end up doing is causing kind of a bottleneck either on your pc and or between mods so for example mods have what they call dependencies meaning that there's some parts of the mod that actually talk to files for tmod that can be manipulated and if there's more than one thing trying to do something for example if you have bunnies that are like having weird effects with others Unfortunately, those mods might hate each other and one might cause the other to crash, therefore hurting your Terraria. So just be cautious when you do that. So when I go to my manage mods, of course, you can go, if you want to follow how to download them, I've showcased in other videos, but you just got to go to download mod, type the mod in that you see that you like here. And of course, you can go through and download them individually. But for today, I'm going to talk about my manage mods. I recently enabled Calamity Vanities because it's a newer mod that got released, and I think it's really cool. But let's start at the very bottom. Magic Storage, what this does is it allows you to take all of your storage and basically make it even better. So instead of accessing 400 chests across, now you're accessing one chest chest that has you know basically everything in it and it's really easy there's a search function it just makes everything really really nice and i will showcase that all of these mods in individual videos in the future so just if you want to look at them you can go ahead and do that calamity mod i just showcased in my previous video basically a mod that literally makes terraria 50 times better than it ever could be adding more bosses more things more beans and just amazing amount of gameplay added into terraria which makes it an endless amount of fun and yeah, it's a big overhaul mod. So if you don't know what overhaul mods are, they changed the game to make it different and just very decent. Crowd control is not for everybody. This is for streamers usually that want their actual chat to try and kill them. So I probably would ignore this for now. Recipe browser, fairly simple. You literally can browse any recipe to know exactly what you're about to create before you create it. Boss checklist is pretty straightforward. It literally lets you see all the bosses that are still available for killing. And that is including the ones that are currently in calamity as well absolute aquarium utilities well you can guess what exactly that does and if you don't know what you can always click on more information and just basically some dll files and some other stuff that it features but i usually recommend not installing this mode because i don't even know if, why this was here i think it's a dependency mod as far as i know it might be a dependency mod yeah but anyways i this is something i think this does get installed for part of calamity but anyways and then there's calamity's vanities that i recently enabled that also make things better for making things more you know calamity-ish i guess you have like more mounts and all this other stuff that just got added really cool mod just recently seen it and i decided to enable it there was another mod called fancy lighting um i didn't like that mod because unfortunately what ended up happening is i found my trailer got a little bit slow at times and i don't know if it was like the mod or something so i got rid of it but these are the mods that i love and of course they are entirely up to you if you want to use them they're you know not many of course there's only seven of them but it's entirely up to you if you want to get any more than that but try to keep it very simple with what you do in Terraria because you don't want your game to crash or encounter any problems. And I've never had any problems with the mods that I currently use right here. So yeah, those are my favorite mods for Terraria. I hope you have a good one. And if you have any cool mods that you would recommend, post down below in the comments so more people can enjoy them. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.